ladies and gentlemen, there's some more details that have come out about Dexter Wade. And, you know, I've been trying to keep up with this story because it is just so horrific. But, you know, when you see what happened to Dexter Wade and many of our people even before him, this is all the more reason for reparations. It's not just slavery, but it's all of the heinous things that have happened after. Dexter Wade buried without his family knowledge, had ID on him with his home address. This is what Ben Crump is saying. An independent pathologist examining the newly exhumed body of Dexter Wade, the Mississippi man killed by a police officer. And he was an off-duty police officer and a police cruiser and buried in a pauper's grave without his mother's knowledge, found a wallet with a state identification card that included the address of the home he shared with his mother, family attorney, um, Ben Crump. The pathologist, Frank Peretti, reported that he found the wallet in the front jean pocket that Wade was wearing. So that must be what he was buried in. That's why I was telling y'all, he was probably buried in the same clothes he got hit in. And that's what it sounds like. And it contained his state identification with his home address, along with a credit card and a health insurance card, attorney Ben Crump said in a statement. Now y'all, they buried his ID with them. They could have looked at the address, gone over to his mother's house, and gave the ID to her. Crump, who arranged for the independent autopsy, said he was sharing Peretti's initial findings. NBC News has not seen the full autopsy report. A representative of Crump's uh, confirm that the home address was the same as his mother, Betterston Wade, reported her 37-year-old son missing on March 14th, nine days after he was struck by a police cruiser as he was crossing a highway. She got no information from police about what happened to him until August 27th when she learned that he had been killed less than an hour after he had left the house and buried in a pauper's field owned by Hines County. A Hines County coroner's office investigator reported that he did not find identification on Dexter's body. Okay, so the, the coroner that's doing the independent autopsy found the ID in the front pocket of his jeans and the Hines County, which I'm sure that's the one that's connected with the police, claim they didn't see no ID. Oh, these people are bad liars, that's for sure. And they said Wade's name was on a bottle of prescription pills and they said they could have used that information within a few days to even inform his mother. The investigator said he called the number listed for Betterston Wade, but did not hear back. Okay, you had the address, why not drive over there? Betterston Wade said she had no recollection, uh, recollection of a call. She said she absolutely did not get a phone call. And I believe her. I believe her. The coroner's office investigator reported that he also shared Dexter Wade's info with the police. Jackson Mayor Chakwi Antar Lamumba said last month that Wade was was uh, without identification and the police were not able to identify him. So you see all the lies that's going on. The coroner said initially they had his ID. Then when this independent pathologists get involved, oh, I didn't see any ID. 
Oh, these people are no good down there in Jackson. He had ID on him. So the findings about the ID in the wallet suggest that authorities knew all along where he lived. But there was no indication that authorities went to the address before Barry and Wade exactly. They knew who he was, y'all. Betterston Wade called the news another jab to the stomach. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the pathologist said his ID was in the front pockets of his jeans that he had on that he was buried in. So they buried his ID. They buried him and his ID. They didn't want this to come out. It, it is just too obvious. If they had a wallet and knew where his address was, why didn't they just visit the address when he was laid out on the freeway and come get me so I could have seen my son. That's what his mother has said. I could have gotten a last glimpse of my son. It could have been, you know, she's saying she could have been there for him since they had all the information and what took them so long after they had all of the inf information just to come to my door just to knock on my door. Crump said in a statement, the tragic news we received from the independent pathologist today was heartbreaking for everyone who knew and cared for Dexter Wade, especially his mother. The fact that Dexter had state ID and several other identifying items shows us that there was a concerted effort to keep the truth and the manner of his death away from his family. There is no excuse, not even incompetence, for not notifying the next of kin of a man identified, you know, after death. And, and they had everything they could have, I, you know, gone to the door. So a spokesperson for the Jackson City said in a statement that Hines County was responsible for examining, burying, and exhuming Wade's body, which remains in county custody from the moment a coroner's office investigator arrived at the scene of the collision. The spokesperson, Melissa F. Payne, says any questions about what was found on Wade should be directed to county officials. Yeah, so y'all can tell uh, some made-up lie. I wouldn't trust nobody from that county. The coroner's office did not immediately respond to requests for comment Thursday. Wade's body was exhumed on Monday. Crump said in addition to his wallet, Beretti found that Wade had not been embalmed before being buried. His body was in an advanced state of decomposition. And I think they did that on purpose. They wanted him to completely decompose so that there would be no evidence of him, minimal evidence. With multiple blunt force injuries to his skull, ribs, and pelvis, and a detached left leg. Wade was completely ran over by a police vehicle, Crump said. So that's the latest on this. This is so sad. Man, just when you thought it couldn't get worse, it gets worse. It gets worse. Mm-mm-mm. So I know um, next week they are planning a funeral for him. So I'm sure, you know, there'll be some more updates coming in regards to Dexter Wade. Boy, talk about doing our people right. And I have never heard them doing this to anyone else.
I don't think in my entire lifetime I've ever heard stuff like this, but you can best believe Dexter is not the only one that has been mysteriously buried in this country. And sometimes if a family uh, member disappears and you don't pursue it like uh, Dexter's mother, you may never know what happened to them. And they don't care. They'll just throw your loved one in the ground and walk away and won't give them a second thought. That's what a demon does. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this latest update. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.